someone who is not included or doesn't have access to the web or knowledge about how to exploit the web or use the web to, to sort of improve their lives is at risk of exclusion. People's lives are going to be improved because they can shop online, they can save money, they can actually access learning, they can connect with friends and family. Being in included means using things like Skype and connecting with grandparents and families and, and all sorts of things like that. So it's really not pushing the agenda in terms of technology, but really pushing the agenda in terms of how it's relevant to individuals in their, in their lives. One of the biggest issues for us is ensuring access for everybody. And I think, you know, if we can, I mean, from the work that I do, I certainly see different levels of competence and experience across the sector, different in North Wales, Mid Wales, West Wales. Um, and I would say that there's still a lot of work to be done, really, in ensuring that all our population have a minimum level of digital le literacy internet literacy so that they can get the most from technology and I think there are wonderful initiatives from the libraries in Wales right down to the BBC to Community 2.0 which is a big flagship program of digital inclusion program in Wales I think there are lots of wonderful projects happening and I think it's a work in progress. The training here at Tea Dowie is fantastic because the group is just so marvellous, so, so keen to learn and so interested. One of our oldest members is around 86 the skills are changing their lives in that they can um, do more, communicate more with their family. So if they've got family living away, they can share photos, send emails. Um, they've been using it in the Tenders and Residents Association for writing up minutes and making posters to advertise the meetings and events. 